Good morning class, I am Teacher Lorraine. Last time we discussed about the incoming immersion and maybe one of you is daydreaming about some of the performance tasks that you may be asked to do during the immersion. I know every one of you is excited and a little bit worried about the incoming immersion. I do hope you still remember the previous lessons that we have regarding the knowledge and skills that you need to be equipped with to help you survive with flying colors during your immersion days outside the campus. And to help you with that, additional knowledge and skills will be discussed to you today. Are you ready? We are going to talk about the materials and equipment used in setting up trays and trolleys for room service. The objectives of today's lesson are identify the materials and equipment used in setting up trays and trolleys for room service. Explain the functions and uses of materials and equipment for room service and appreciate the importance of having knowledge in the uses and functions of materials and equipment. First, you must be familiarized with the materials and equipment used for room service. Are you ready? If your answer is yes, let's start with this guessing game activity. I am going to show you some of them on the screen and please try to name them one by one. Here's the first item. You are correct. This is a tray. It is used for carrying, holding or displaying articles of food, glass and plates. How about the next item? Let me hear your answer. Did you say trolley? That is absolutely the right answer. It's a piece of room service equipment that transfers food, materials, and supplies. Let me see if you're able to guess the next material. What is the term used on those items when we talk about table appointments? Do you guess it right? They are known as linen. They come in a former fabric to enhance the appearance of the table setup. If you think you're done guessing all the items needed, uh-uh, there's more. How about these items? Can you guess what they are called? Yes, they are known as silverware because most of them come in silver material. Some of them are golden alloys, which are the combinations of two or more metals used for eating. They may only use disposable materials for to-go items. Let's continue. Are you familiar with the term used in those items? They are known as crockery. It refers to ceramic tableware, most commonly porcelain or bone china. Bone china is a porcelain type made from bone ash, feldspathic material, and kaolin. Maybe some of you have those items at home. Can you name the term used for those items? I know you can guess them right. Those are known as glassware. It refers to any kind of container or vessel that can be used to consume liquids. By the way, before we continue with the next item, let me ask you something. Why do you think it is important to be familiar with the materials and equipment used for room service? Do you think it may help you to perform your tasks efficiently and effectively? Definitely, the answer is yes. Wasting time and energy will be lessened if you know them and their functions. Here is the next item needed in setting up trays and trolleys for room service. Yes, your answer is correct. Tea and coffee pots. It refers to a covered spot with a spout for making or serving coffee. Lastly, we have other materials and equipment used in setting up trays and trolley for room service. Since you are now familiar with the materials and equipment for room service, let me check if you really learned something today. Here is the first question. This material is made of alloys, which is the combination of two or more metals. Second question. It is an equipment used for transferred food, supplies, and material for room service. Third question, tablecloth, table runner, and table napkins are examples of this material used for room service. 
Here is the next set of questions to check what you have learned today. This time, I am going to show you some pictures, images, or materials and equipment for room service. And you are going to tell the name of the materials. First picture. Those are glassware. Second picture. Those are crockery. Third picture. Those are trays. In this lesson, you were able to gain knowledge about the functions and uses of materials and equipment used for setting up trays and trolleys for room service. This knowledge may help you in performing different tasks during your immersion. Now, we are at the end of the session. Time to say goodbye. That's all for today and thank you for listening. See you again next week.